Welcome, this is Lone Wolf, and we're creating a world on Finished Story version 119.5. Just kind of getting my interface set up, and then uh, I'm going to create a world here. This is going to be something I haven't seen done before. That's not the point of it. It just was an idea that I had that I thought I'd try. Not really interested so much in the wilderness survival. More standard, but maybe it'll be more interesting if it's wilderness survival. And we're going to come in and customize. So what's different here? about a normal playthrough for me is that my intention is to play without ever having a permanent base. Stop and make a temporary base, stop and do some clay farming, whatever, uh, you know, for whatever we want to do. And just keep moving. So basically, it's uh, I don't live anywhere. I'm just running across the world, continuous adventuring with uh, periodic stop and do something sort of thing. And I'm not going to drop inventory. And I know that doesn't matter. So we're going with warm climate. Give myself 10 days before the Goombas come in. I'm going to give myself 60 seconds. 30 day months, I like them. Just do sand and gravel. Let the dirt be uh, not obey gravity. Cave-ins. Eh. Body temperature, creature hostility. Just going to take the defaults for wilderness survival, which is most assuredly more challenging. I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, well, that's right, Pro Pick doesn't work, but uh, I guess it will now. Coordinate overlay world map, color accurate world map. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? There are none of those. To improve your respawn uses. I guess infinite. I do want to sleep during temporal storms. Let's try patchy again. Let's reduce upheaval a bit. I can't understand why, if I get to the edge, I should fall off. Going to reduce this like I did in my 118 world. Single players, so don't need any of that stuff. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to have less health, we're going to be more hungry, more hungry hap, uh, more frequently. Okay, well, I have no idea what this is going to be like. That's why they call it an experiment. Uh, I am running mods, so this is not uh, going to be the same thing as what you would see from, say, GG Beyond. It's going to be my version, mostly. I mean, I could just play standard, Wilderness Survival. It's just going to make it a little bit harder, but I'm not playing with all the difficulties that come with Wilderness Survival, but with some of the difficulties. Okay, so Lone Wolf's No Perm Base. Guess that's what we'll call this. Well, let's find let's find out what a foolish person I am. This will be interesting if nothing else. Still gonna look like me. Something like that. Just gonna take commoner. One of the first things you're gonna do is turn off voices. I don't care for any of them. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna... That's right, I have no map. Well, Let's see how it goes. It's gonna be a whole uh, different experience. I've I've played with Wilderness Survival before. So this isn't my first time doing it, but this is gonna be completely different than that. Because in that one I had a permanent base, etc. And that's kind of one of the reasons I decided to go ahead and do Wilderness Survival, is if I'm not doing a permanent base then the map isn't as important. So, where's the sun? So it's nine o'clock in the morning. Should be able to see where the sun is. Okay, there's the sun. So this way is east. So this way is south. All right, well, let's go south for no good reason. This can be a real different thing here. I hope this is enjoyable for you. Yeah, this can be really different. I'm just kind of thinking about stuff. I'm thinking about for bees, you know, if I don't have a permanent base, then there's no apiary. This can be really different. Oh, early game world gen challenges. I 
I assume. Okay. Ah, wow. Am I still facing south? I don't know. Boy, we're struggling. All right, let's see if this is any better. Okay, so that's east. So this is south. Unless that's not east, but there should be. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Need to break some... Uh, need to break something to get some sticks. Now, the more I think about this concept here, the weirder it gets, the less sure I am that this is going to work. somewhere. What I need to hear is me cutting some reeds. That's what I need to hear. decimated that tree of its flora and fauna. Hmm. Got some vines too, and I was thinking about that. That's not a bad thing to have, but it's so early game that these might just go in the drink. should still be on which it is so I've I've not changed my mods from what I've been using on my on my let's play from my 11815 created world same mods Guess we need to turn these into actual tools, huh?
All right, uh, so yeah. Not unexpected. Now, didn't we just go by a bunch of reeds right here? Why, yes, Wolf, we did. Wow, the more I think about this, this is a really interesting concept. Uh, a concept that's got more challenges than I probably originally thought of. My thinking was just, yeah, I love adventuring. What if I made a world that I just did nothing but adventure on? What would that be like? Well, there's a lot more implications to it than that. Can't say I gave it a lot of thought, but I got excited about the idea. So, just trying it out. Could be a big flop. Could be a huge success. I don't know. I have no idea. And when I mean flop, I mean for me, as the player, not as a uh, flop on YouTube. Yeah, this is going to be really different. Oh darn, I couldn't pick up the lily pad. I feel horrible about that. So, when I paused the video a bit back, what I was doing was um, starting starting uh, this world with it being run uh, on my local server as, as I've been doing. The game just works better that way. But for creating a new world, it's easier to start, well, if you want to create the world yourself, start it in single player. Then the world you create will be what you wanted it to be. Otherwise, the game makes a default world for you. Which is not what I wanted. Just trying to not break the lily pads. Like that. Not that it really matters, but that's what I've been trying to do. Alright, we're looking for 64, so we're almost there. Okay. That just opposite. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh my goodness, we'll make it so difficult. How dare you? Okay, we now have inventory. Now we have a reed basket. And what do we do with the reed basket? We put it down and we move things over. But we don't have anything to move over there right now. And we put it on our back. Now the reed basket doesn't cost us any speed or have any penalties. So 14. So that's 2 o'clock, so I guess it's probably moved over that way, so I assume this is still south. So now what are you looking for, Wolf? Well, a lot more flint still. Of course we need more seeds. Hopefully I can just pick the... Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I would be wise to 
come over here to the trees that I delimbed, deleafed, removed all greenness from, and I should chop those down for firewood. But I wasn't looking to pick up the seeds. That's right, I know how to get rid of them. It feel like there was a big tree there I just took down. Okay. Let's gather some delicious currants. Okay, dokey. Here we go. Dude, got to be kidding me. Believe me, I will kill you. Speaking of which, I have room to carry more spears, thank you. And I will. Nice. Now I have a chance of defending myself. So we still have all the same things we need to do. Pick up things, harvest things. I don't have a permanent base though. You know, the idea was deliberately live off the land oh I'm an idiot I'm an idiot I'm an idiot well let's start again shall we well not start again but let's see where we land this time definitely not the same location and of course I lost two spears because I really did that poorly. Really did that poorly. Acting like I've been playing for a while and not just started and have no defense or anything else. Go walking past a hyena like a moron. Did I lose three? Spears? Sure seems like it. Okay, so that should be west. We're in my favorite biome. The jungle. Shield stone. Just looking for flint people. In this case, people being all the critters around me. Yeah, this is going to be really different. Huh. Well, I wanted an experiment, and uh, boy, that's what I'm going to get, isn't it? Oh, there's the bees right there. Hmm. I'm just realizing that 
Yeah, there's the bees, and when you break them, they're going to come and sting you, and you don't have anything to protect yourself from them with. And you don't have enough dirt either. Not even close. Oh, this feels really premature and probably a bad idea because I have no bucket. I have no way to empty the honey out. Wow. So this is a total waste of time. Total waste of time. No reason to do it. Not until you can do something with it. I was just thinking, hey, let's get a a candle early on. Well, can't get a candle if you can't shake the wax out of the honeycomb. Or can't, yeah, if you can't shake the honey out of the honeycomb. But getting dirt's not a bad thing, because then I, uh, I get my uh, packed dirt. And what's the difference between packed dirt and regular dirt? Not a whole lot, honestly. Pack dirt doesn't grow grass. Won't grow anything. So what's the point of it, Wolf? Well, it's also not subject to... It's also not subject to gravity. But really, that's... kind of issue is that for me. Since I turned dirt, turned dirt gravity on. Okay. Aggressive pigs. Let's get away from aggressive pigs. Because I can't hold up to them. Well, it's going to be interesting. Interesting indeed. Hello, panda bear. Let's respect each other now. So early game, and for me, it's uh, get some reeds. See, now it's 16. That's fully mature. I should get fruit from it. Thank you. came to me. Can you believe it? And I actually grasped onto it. Wow, that lit fast. We're going to do uh, longer episodes for this, too. I've got this all figured out. No, I don't have any of this figured out. Wow, well, we got up that.
Well, our belly's full. There'll be no terror pretty here, but if I'm not making a permanent base, then I guess that doesn't matter. I don't know. We'll see how this all evolves. I might decide that I need to put a farm somewhere that keep doing my trails. Well, if I put a farm somewhere, I'll never find it again if I'm doing what I intend to do, which is just adventure every day. I just don't see a farm in this in this let's play. Okay, yeah, I did not change world height on this one. So world height should be 250, 255, 6, whatever it is. Alright, well, horse tail's good. That's why I should have picked up more. More reeds when I was doing it. But I wasn't thinking. Kind of survivalist are you, wolf? You're a bad one, man. I've only died once already. You died already? Well, you know. I was stupid. I was foolish. I wasn't thinking right. Hey, death happens. And you all, if you've watched my videos, you know that I, uh, Recognize how not pro I am. Okay, don't fall down there. Oh, my friend, the wolves. I don't want to run into any wolves right now. Definitely not looking for wolves or bears, oh my. So I think we're going south. We've run across lead twice now. Let's see if we can cross over this way. Maybe. Mostly because I saw some sticks. What on earth? Well, this is patchy, right? So we've <laughs> we've hit a frozen zone. Boy, more lead. Hello, fox. And fox. Hello, calf. Got quiet. Why did the music stop? 
guessing we started with 10 health points because we did Wilderness Survival instead of 15 health points. Oh, no wolves. What's that? Look, there's a raccoon over here eating. That guy keeps dropping stuff off the berry bush. Guess I haven't really been looking for food, have I? Just run across some here and there and grab it, but I haven't focused on it at all. Maybe I should do more than that. More of that, uh, Look for food, that is. Mm, corn flour. I love thee. Let me count the ways. Mm. That's close to mature flax. It was close, but no cigar. More bees. Baby rabbit. Little cap. No, okay. I was hoping that wasn't a dead cap sitting there. Mom and Dad don't come after me. I don't care about you. Well, look at that. You are so unlikely to ever see me pass this stuff up ever again. Except in this playthrough. Or let's play. Because Wolf don't pass up good soil. But I'm unaware that I'm even going to have a farm. This is a really mind-bending different thing I'm doing here. Different for me. Not saying it's original, it's original to me, but uh, I'm sure others have tried such foolishness before. Almost, almost mature rice. Almost mature doesn't help me. Guess that was telling me I have nine more days before the monsters come. Well, that's true. Maybe the wolves aren't out yet. I don't know. Definitely heard some howling. what sounded like howling. around this part of early game is head is down most of the time because you're looking at what's on the surface and pretty much focusing on what's in front of your face or for me anyways that's how it is for me 
sticks, lint, oh my. Copper is always good too, of course. This is going to be an interesting experiment. Learning all about what uh, is and is not reasonable to expect. I mean, I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if I'll ever get to iron in this. But I, I, you know, have allowed, I've allowed uh, uh, bases. My condition is just no permanent bases. That was black over there. What was that? Oh, it's chicken. They're chicken. Not that they're chicken, but they're chickens. Rooster will come up and peck at you. He's not afeard of you. Oh, wrong one. All right, so we have room for eight more flit. I must not have picked the right climate. I must have not picked the right climate because this is absolutely not, should not be this kind of temperature. I know I made patchy, but so far what I'm seeing is mostly very cold already. It's May for crying out loud. Minus two C. Well, none of that feels right. I may abandon this world because I didn't make it the way I intended. And then you get over here. Yeah, it's patchy for sure.
Okay. Well, now this is feeling like what I intended this world to be. It's just the patchiness. That's all it is. Okay, we're done collecting flint for now. Love every piece of flax fiber I can get my hands on. Like these. As far as I know, yes, bandages. You see weeds, I see bandages. Of course, I just pushed, put the horse tail in the weed basket, but that's okay. At least I think I did. Yep. Such a hardship to have to get it out. Oh my gosh, how will I ever survive? Sarcastic much, Wolf? Yep, sarcastic a lot. So far of bandages, two reeds, four bandages, four horsetail, okay, and two reeds. And there we have a full stack. Oh, bandages. Let's uh, do pick up our reed baskets, shall we? Certainly a pretty world so far. Well, two more fibers and we'll have a piece of old linen. No, that's too twine. Yeah, 20, 20 flax fibers for a linen sack. 16 plus 4, that's it. That's the formula. Flowers, 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 flowers. Game has flowers. It's all fire clay, right? Yeah. Not that it matters. I can use fire clay for... I'm not sure what I can't use fire clay for. You can for blue clay, but... You couldn't make blue clay bricks out of fire clay. Building nutrition. Woohoo!
Probably gonna have some berries rot on me. But that's only if I keep... Keep finding other food to eat. Those are carrots and they don't look right. I'd sure be up for flint. Or, um, not flint, obsidian. This is shale, not bauxite. Or, um, something. Uh, salt. There we go. There's some almost mature flax. Almost. Almost includes its flax and it's brand new. Some ruins. Could be useful things there. Aha. Uh -huh. Definitely useful things right here. Right here. Flax, but nothing mature. Nothing mature there. I guess I'm going to be much more interested in uh, vessels than I usually am. Not ready to start digging ruins. Yeah, there's probably something really good down there. Unless one of the good things down there is a storage vessel. garbage. Oh! Stop picking that nonsense up. Just trying to make a linen sack here. Not a hard thing to do, typically. Well, that was worth coming down for. And you know I desperately want that. Let's go see what we can do.
No, I really, 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 really want the spider webs. Okay, well, just as in times before, I believe the hand baskets, and if I ever come and find them, I'll have a good chuckle at myself. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ruin. Help me get to my first linen sack. Well, it's just ruin after ruin up here. Whatever's going on back there, I'm not interested in it. The little pig. So yeah, all that fits in the linen sack, because it gives me five slots. Find more goodies. A mature cow is a goodie. Blacks, I got it then. Something. I don't mind going in the forest, but I kind of right now would rather be out in the open so I can. Have a little more vision. Find more food. Members, these are good to eat. Like some more of the same, which is good because. Oh, I need things to stack. The oak trees are amazing at throwing mushrooms. 
think I see more back on the back side of that one. I didn't even think of looking around the other sides. Just took what was on the face. What's the shelf life? Usually these have pretty good long life. Speaking of things that don't have long life. stack first. Versus variety. Inventory slots are at a premium. Ah, this is going to be so different than I've played before. I just keep thinking of more things that uh, I'm going to have to cope with to play the way that I'm planning on playing this. Alright, let's see if it's more open over this way. It has liver in the name. Look like a liver? I oh, know I have the foggiest idea. Some almost, oh, actual right price. Wow. Noticed copper doesn't mean I haven't found some, but I haven't noticed it. Okay, rooster, rooster, booster. That's getting ready to pull the map up. Have a look at how things look out this way, but there's no map, wolf. No map. Remember, you chose this. Oh, man. Oh, not really where I want to be. 
Oh, jungle is a good place for sticks. It's also a good place to get cornered and stuck and unable to move forward. And where you can find bees, apparently. Oh, of course you can. That's some deep water if you wanted to go down. of the jungle at all. But I'm not looking to go into the dense forest back there either. I want to be able to see. I want visibility. attention and not realizing my status. This has been a pretty mild play so far. You go walk next to a hyena and you've got no armor. You should expect to die, which I promptly did. But otherwise it's been, and I'm not trying to jinx this, it's been really, really pleasant. Of course, monsters haven't spawned yet, but there are plenty of monsters, hyenas, pigs. pigs. Pigs weren't supposed to be. Pigs weren't hostile. In real life, you know, they're definitely hostile. You get around a wild boar. <gasps> oh, I might get peanut from it. I did get it from it. Huh. Haven't been running into traders either. Interesting. More good soil. Why, if I ever make a farm, I'm going to kick myself in the butt for not picking this stuff up. Oh well. It's not in the original plan. But it could be. Wow, look at all this deep water. more food that lasts a while.
one. Survive on liver, but yeah. stack of the stuff. How fortunate. Don't need you guys in inventory. I know, I know. You noticed something. It wasn't the first time you noticed it either. You noticed that Wolf kept peanut seeds, didn't you? Yeah, he did. He did, he did. Does that mean he's planning on farming? He doesn't know what he's planning on. The peanut seeds, I mean, come on. You'll see me throw lots of things away. So, or, oh, breadfruit? Breadfruit? <gasps> oh. Now I have to make a permanent base. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what you're doing, Wolf. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. The best, the best, the best in the game. Right there. The best. Oh, this is unfair, because I haven't found any in my other Let's Play. And now I'm not... You know, the whole thing is no permanent base. Now what do I find? The best fruit in the game. You know, so we haven't found traders either. Is there something wrong with this map? I doubt there's anything wrong with the map. Finding everything else, and honestly, traders got no coins. What a good are they? No permanent base, so you don't find out where they are and then come back later and do business with them. It's strange to have not found any.
I was thinking I should make a, make it oven to take with me, to carry with me. It takes one slot, but he would let me make bread, but until I get a saw, until I get copper, until I get lots of things, none of these things do me any good, so copper be important. And I tell you by now I sh would have normally found some copper. Normally. I don't have a stack of sticks, but then that doesn't matter. Not really focused on them. But once sticks there, they are. They're sitting in a tree. It's not the same of having them in inventory, mind you, but. Back here, forest, I think. Or maybe nothing I can even get to. And if you're going to save any seeds, I think I'd say turnips are a great one because they grow so fast. This is my first time doing this. Perhaps my only time doing this too. But currently it's my first time doing this. Certainly grateful for the turnips. Although, with the mushrooms around, they're not as important as they normally would be. I must admit. Oh, you know what? I think I know why I haven't found copper yet. Because we're playing Wilderness Survival, and copper has been turned way down. Hadn't considered that. Yeah, you're stacking. Probably should have eaten all these first before I put the other stack over here. Because all I did was take life away from the fresh stuff. That's why I haven't found copper. Maybe I want to do some world config changes. Of course, Wilderness Survivor is supposed to be brutal, but it really wasn't going for brutal. Wasn't going for nor hoping for brutal. Just thought, okay, we've got, you know, go for harder. But not looking for hard, per se. Well, at least now I think I know why I'm not seeing any copper yet. I think that makes sense. Well, 
this isn't where I'm likely to find a lot of food. I could, could possibly find some copper in here. Possibly. Boy, there's lots of resin in here. Lots of resin in here. But I'll probably never be back here, I don't know. I'm really not paying attention to what I'm seeing and where things are in relation to each other. I couldn't even really hazard a guess as to what direction I'm going because with how I've been thinking of this playing, I think I remember that the clouds always move from west to east, but I'm not sure. Of course, that looks the most brilliant there. I don't know. Well, if I leave world settings as they are, this is going to be a very difficult play. I'm the only one that's choosing the more difficult or not. But I also want this to be interesting for people to watch too, so... the blueberries you definitely don't want to but you've got so many berries already Is that basalt I wonder so why did I get my breath taken away because it might be basalt one answer obsidian are superior to flint. And of course we have no idea how big this biome is and this is not a biome I'm thinking food is around every corner because it won't be. And of course neither will uh, obsidian but and if I found some below surface, or in block form, like there's nothing I could do about it. All right, midnight just happened. Just got her notice that uh, seven days and we will be getting monsters. Oh, I would love to throw away all the flint I have. <gasps> 
so what does GG Beyond do right now? He goes and he collects the stuff and he puts up a pillar to kind of remind him that hey something was here I don't know how I'll ever see this though Okay, got down off that without hurting myself. Well, we have 11 pieces of copper. I mean, seriously, that's pretty awesome. And I see some more obsidian. And if I have the food for it, I just want to sit here and collect, collect, collect. I want all obsidian. making tools with superior but I can't go crazy and just toss out all my flint I mean if I get a stack of obsidian I could toss it out but uh, that doesn't mean I'll be done with it because you know how do you replace the obsidian you leave you leave this area. Oh, crap! That's not a good sign. That's a bad sign. Most like to attack. And there's one and there's a second one. I'd like to... Oh, no, 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 no. Not backwards. You were swimming backwards so you could see the moose. You don't want to swim back to the moose. You're just getting away from the moose, hopefully. Hopefully getting away. Moose. Moose, you're aggressive. I live where there are real live moose in the wild. And they aren't quite as aggressive as these are. You really have to be careful of mom, moms with their babies. But I've been around them in that situation too. As long as you didn't get in their space, you were fine. But that is not true of Vintage Story Moose. You get around a, a moose in Vintage Story and they're coming after you. That's just how it is. So that varies a bit from my personal experience. Oh, that one jumped. I must have startled it. And I'm glad it went away and not toward. Oh. No, trying to win. Sounded like something big just exhaling, which would not have been good for me. All right, so we are just short of my full stack of sticks. And very short still of stack of obsidian. But, hey, we just got to where some even can exist. So, it's all good. 
40 is a heck of a great start. please. Yeah, okay, that. that build up my stack of sticks. Now how about filling up my stack of obsidian? not stand around let's move and then we have a better chance of coming across it hanging out in one place doesn't get the job done just like finding food you stick around one place how, how do you expect to find food This has been a basalt-filled biome, I must say. All right, there's three quarters. How will I ever find this place again, I wonder? I know what I've done when I have put around with playing Wilderness Survival. But in those versions, of course, I had a permanent base. And we're trying to do this differently. But we're not trying, so we, we are doing it differently. See how it works out. All right, one one away from my stack of obsidian. Awesome. So now we're changing to granite. Well, I'm not done with basalt yet. Or am I? Let the basalt decide. Seriously. Got myself stuck in there. So just skirting along the edge. There's my 64th piece of obsidian. All right, let's let's uh, let's do the let's let's prove the difference. Let us prove the difference. Sixty-seven durability, forty-eight durability, five piercing damage, five point two five piercing damage. I'd like to replace my spears. But let's find the obsidian to replace it with. I don't want to dig into my stack just to uh, replace my lint spears. Wow, temperatures just change so radically. But then that's patchy.
all those raccoons, man. What are you guys living off of? Are there that many berries in here? Oh my goodness. Wow. Felt like I was being cut off. Because I was. Okay, well obviously that's not the basalt. That's not the way to basalt. That's the way away from the salt. If we can get some clear quartz. Then that would work as glass for a lantern. I know I'm all kinds of premature here. What can I say? So the berries have to be eaten because they'll just be turned into rot here real quick. So I want more obsidian, please. So that's upgrading our spears right here, right now. And it's friggin' cold out. Aren't I the lucky one? All right, well. Just kind of watching the temperature on the HUD. Looks like it's increasing temperature here, if not ever so slightly, but definitely increasing temperature. Oh my gosh. Increasing, increasing, still increasing, so that's positive. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're back to almost. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Forty-five. So how am I I should be increasing body temperature? it's much warmer than I am. Oh, no, it's not. It's 8 degrees C. Duh. Well, 
If it's increasing temperature this way, then let's go this way. We've got a long ways to go to get our body warmed up. 12 degrees C. That doesn't exactly warm your body up, does it? Yeah, we're up. We're up one tenth of a degree C from what we were. Definitely on the uh, warm up. Well, I'll never find that again. On purpose, anyways. But another one. I see now we're not we're not as warm as we were. Colder. Well, I mean we will stop and make a fire if we have to. Yeah, we're definitely getting colder again. Holy cow. You know what, if we killed a cow or something, then that'd give us something to cook. It would also warm us up. Okay, we're way warmer outside now. Give it a moment for the body to catch up to that. And that's 20 degrees C now. That's half lock, yeah, okay. Orange, bamboo, woohoo. You know, all that food we had before? Most of that's gone. fiber nice okay so there's the linen a piece of linen don't need a slot for that. Treasure hunter, 
Not that it matters. Okay, whatever. No waypoints. Hmm. My original thought wasn't <laughs> wasn't wilderness survival. It was just survival without a permanent base, but uh, then I thought, well, we could make it a little more difficult. I do love my map. I love my waypoints. So I need four more flax fibers, and I've got my second linen. Oh. Well, that's almost enough for one tool. I have no way to heat the copper to melt it, but hey. We don't have a full stack of this yet. And the ones that I have have gotten older than the ones I'm getting. Enough to where they're not stacking them in this same stack. That doesn't mean I can't. 14 days, 14 days. Cows automatically give you the bones. pig. I don't want to. Is there another one of you around? You make great firewood. Now there's no doubt in vanilla that this wouldn't work. That is to say that this is not enough logs to make that burn all the way. And I suspect it's not enough with better fire pits either. But I do see some lovely log trees, firewood trees. That's what I like, yeah, firewood trees. Tall fern, fern tree. Oh no, how will I ever find 
my fire pit and my red meat a cooking. Oh, I'll just go right back here and there they are. Wow, it's almost like I knew it. these. Protein will be good for me. Alright, so we turn that into a pelt. And then we can take that pelt and turn it into warm clothing. For the times when it's not warm out. I think they used to not cure if they were in uh, a basket or some sort, some, 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 some such, but I think nowadays they do cure even in a basket or chest or some sort, some such, some such, some sort. Where does sort come from? I don't know. It's not intentional. Well, we haven't had to throw away any berries yet, which is cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wax, please. Thank you, please. The exact amount.
Mm. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Ah, I got some ticked off boar coming after me. What a boar. Still coming at me. Well, <coughs> you're next on the menu then, aren't you? all my spears along the way. Thought I was picking them up. Now that I'm not pleased with. Now that won't please me at all. More flax. Dang it. Lost three spears on that? Yep, yeah, we came through there. Okay, one less lost. I know I ran by close enough proximity to pick up all my spears. Okay, one, one more. Losing one is different than losing three. I don't think I'm gonna find the one. Definitely out of space. I honestly can't say why I would be bringing those with me. And why am I bringing those with me? I don't know. Stupid pig. Almost halfway to the next linen sack. Well, 
we're going to call this an episode. I want to thank you for watching. I've had fun playing. If you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel, won't you? And thank you to all of those who already have. If you'd like a video, well, video, please click on that like button and let the world know it. Any thoughts, ideas, questions, comments, please post your comments on my videos. Love to read them all. And come watch the next one, won't you? Thanks. Goodbye.